Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to import data from one Notion database to another which means we are going to integrate Notion within itself such that whenever in any database an item is created same item will be created in another database. For this we are going to create an automation with the help of Pabli Connect where our trigger will be the new database item created in one database of Notion and our action will be to create another item in another database. Let us learn how to do that. So let us learn that how you can import data from one database in Notion to another database. Let us quickly sign in into our account so that we will reach this place where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli. And we are going to use Pabli Connect to create this automation. When you click on access now, it will take me to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Reaching here, we can see a big blue button on your right side where it's written create workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as Import data from one Notion database to other. Click on create and then a blank workflow will be created for you like you can see on your screen. You will be able to see the two major modules of Pabli Connect, Trigger and Action on the base of which the whole automation works. Before that, I would like to remind you to open your Notion over here so that you can cross check your databases and also connect Notion with Pabli Connect. So let us understand the working of Trigger and Action. Trigger says when this happens and action says do this, which means that Trigger is going to be the first application where the event will take place manually or we are going to make the changes which will trigger this workflow. So when this happens, action will do this, which means the action application will do the assigned action. In this case, our both Trigger and action applications are going to be Notion only because we are going to import data within Notion, but from one database to another. So let us choose the Trigger application as Notion. And the event over here will be new database item. Like in one database, whenever a new item is created, then the same will be created in another as well. Click on connect and add new connection. We are connecting Notion and Pabli Connect so that every time the new database item is created, we receive a response right here. So click on connect with Notion. First of all, you have to select pages. Like I want this upcoming meeting plans over here to be allowed access to Pabli Connect so that every item created in this database will be brought over here as a response. Click on allow access and the connection is done. Once it is done, you can see the database ID or the name of your database over here. So when you click on save and send test request, the data that has recently been added in all upcoming meeting plans, which is this one, will be brought over here as a response. Okay, so it is collecting the recent data added. So let us now create an item over here right in front of you and we will click on save and send test request and go here and let us add a new data. Click on new and give a title to it and give a title to it. The title is start preparing, preparing the assignments. This is the title. Now let us give it, give a date, which is in this format. The details, if you want to enter any, these are the details and you have to give a meeting name over here. So you can similarly take this title as the meeting name. Once all of this is done, just click outside or press enter key and it is added over here. All right, so once it is added, when you go back to your workflow, you will see this as a response. Here you have the response. First of all, you have the title. Then you have the plain text over here. When you scroll down, you will find the description as well. And also you will be given the date of submission. So all of this is done. We have received the item details we have just created in our database. Now let us close this window and choose our action application again as Notion because we are going to transfer this data in another database. So let us choose our database like task is the one I want to update with this. See, it is already updated over here. So when I will add this data that I have received in the trigger response to this task database, it will be updated right here with the name and the description. So here the event will be create database item. Click on connect. And this time again, you have to choose add new connection. You are also using Notion again in the second time in this workflow, but the database is going to be different. Click on add new connection, connect with Notion. It detects your account. You just have to click on select pages first of all, and then choose the page you want access to. The task is the only one. When this is done, click on allow access and you will be provided access and the authorization is successful. Once this is done, scroll down and then choose the database over here, which is task if it is selected already, which means that it is correct. Now, in this case, all of these fields are not required. Whatever you want to enter over here, like this one or the other one, if you want to enter anything, you can enter it. 
but I want only the description and the task name right here. So in the task name, I will give the name which was start preparing for your assignments. All right, this is the text content. And then the description is going to be the board one. So I'm going to scroll down and find the one. This is the content. Now, once this is done, no content or this field is required by me. You can do it according to your requirement. So I have given the description and task name over here as per my requirement. I will just click on save and send test request and it will be updated or imported to the other database. See, it's here. First of all, when you receive a response from your action application, look for some error. If there is no error, which means your work has been done perfectly fine. There is no problem. Close this window. Now, this is our tiny workflow. Let us go to our tasks and check yes start preparing the assignments and here is the description so every time this will be updated this database will be updated with a new item so the task will also be updated here you have the more elaborate details and here you just have the task name and description over here so you can create such an automation or such a workflow for your own requirement this was the video i hope this helped not just these applications but you can integrate many other applications using pably connect if you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli.com. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.